Hello everyone, and welcome to the seventh part of this series of videos on the PCG plugin in Unreal Engine 5. In this video, I want to talk about performance. For this example, I only have one input, a surface sampler, and a static mesh spawner that's going to spawn one mesh. In this case, this is a tiny piece of cardboard. And, as you can see in the scene, I want a lot of them. So now, I'm going to show you how to get information about the performance of your PCG graph. On the top of the PCG graph window, you can see no debug object selected. Click on that, and then choose your PCG volume. Once you've done that, you can go into Window, and then select Profiling. You can see a profiling window now. You can press the reset button to have a clear view of everything. And to show you how this works, I'm going to go back to my scene and clean up my PCG volume. And then, as you can see here, there's nothing anymore. But if I press Generate again, everything is back. And my profiling window will give me information about what happened. You can see all the details of everything. So at the very bottom, you can see a lot of static mesh spawners. Those are from the previous videos, but they're not doing anything at the moment because they're not activated. We can also see the sprite data here. And we can see at the very top a static mesh spawner that actually is doing a lot. If I double click on that, then it will show me which static mesh spawner exactly is doing the work. As expected, this is the one that spawns cardboard sheets. And while for my situation, this is a bunch of small cardboard sheets, you may have a lot of foliage, for example, that you want to spawn. And a way to improve performance sometimes is to make sure that there's no collision happening. In your static mesh spawner, you can change the collision presets that are attributed by default by the PCG graph, or you can use the default collision of your mesh. But a good way to make sure you have unwanted collisions is to actually open your mesh, and once you're in the mesh menu, look into it and make sure that there's no collision. For mine, when I go into the collision menu, I can see that the remove collision is grayed out. It is because there's no collision on my mesh. And if I add one simple box collision, well, we can see it's really nothing happening. But if you spawn thousands upon thousands of those objects that don't really necessarily need collisions, then you create more work for your PCG graph that is actually not really wanted. This might be especially true if you spawn a lot of grass or foliage and you might not be able to see the collisions when you are playing. However, this will still be counted into the PCG generation. To summarize, the profiling window is a very great tool to help you understand what's happening in your PCG graph and helps you improve your performance. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.